Hi guys, today we're going to have a look at a few example problems involving density. So a carver begins work on the following block of granite that has a weight of 2,700 grams. What's the density of the granite? So, uh, remember density, which has got the units grams per centimetres cubed, is equal to mass in grams divided by volume is centimeters cubed. So firstly what's the volume of our granite block? Well volume is equal to the height times the width times the length. So the height well that's 10 centimeters the width is 5 centimetres and the length is 20, which gives us a thousand centimetres cubed. So if I do the mass, 1,700 grams, divided by the volume, which is a thousand, I get 2.7 grams per centimetre cubed. And that is my final answer. A graduated cylinder has a mass of 50 grams when empty and when 30 millilitres of water is added the cylinder now has a mass of 120 grams. If a rock is added to the graduated cylinder the water level rises to 75 millilitres and the total mass is now 250 grams. So what is the density of the rock? Well to work out density we need to know uh, two things. We need to know the mass of our rock and the volume of our rock. So firstly, what's the mass of the rock? Well, it's going to be the difference between these two values here. So 250 subtracted from, we'll take away 120, gives us 130 grams. So that's the mass of our rock. So what's the volume? Well, one milliliter is the same as one centimeters cubed. So if we have a look here, we went uh, from 30 millilitres to 75. So 75 minus 30 gives us 45 centimetres cubed. Okay, so now we've got the mass, 130 grams, divided by the volume, 45 centimetres cubed. And that gives us a final answer of, uh, let me just put this in the calculator, uh, 2.9 uh, grams per centimetres cubed. Okay, this is the last example. A student performs an experiment with three unknown fluids and obtains the following measurements. So fluid A has got a mass of 2,060 grams and a volume of 2,000 millilitres. Uh, fluid B, well that's got a mass of 672 grams and 850 millilitres. And finally, fluid C, well, that's got a mass of 990 grams and a volume of 1,100 millilitres. So it says, draw how the liquids would be layered if they were combined in a beaker. So the first thing we need to know is which is the densest, because that's going to sink. So let's work out the density of each, uh, each of these. So firstly, let's do A. Well, that's 2,060 divided by 2,000. Okay, so 2,060. Let's have a look in here. 2,000, oops, 2,060 divided by 2,000. And I get 1.03 grams per centimetres cubed. Okay, let's have a look at B. So this time, I've got a mass of 672 grams divided by a volume of 850. So 672 divided by 850. Okay, I get 0 0.79 grams per centimetres cubed. Okay, so it's looking like A is the heaviest so far, or it's got or the most dense, I should say. And then C, well this time, 990 divided by 1,100. So, 990 grams divided by 
1,100 and I get 0 0.9 grams per centimetres cubed. Okay, so let's have a look which is going to sink. Well, A is going to be the first. Uh, then, followed by C. And the lowest mass, well, that is B. So, A is at the bottom, then C, then B. Don't, don't forget to subscribe. Ah, uh, gangster. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is slow. Went to bed and he bumped his flowers and couldn't wake up in the morning.